Queen of Terror! What horrible monstrosity is stalking the streets of Riverdale? Is it even human? Can Archie save his friends from the horror of a monstrously warped mind? Find out in Reign of Terror! If you don't pass your history test, you're going to get kicked off the team. I know, but I'm just not smart like you, Betty. How do you think I got so smart? By reading and studying. There's got to be an easier way. Reading gives me a headache. There are no shortcuts to learning, Moose. You work out a lot, right? Don't your muscles ache sometimes? Yeah. Well, think of your mind as a muscle. Huh? To get it into shape, you have to work out. Only instead of using weights, use books. Yeah, good idea. Hey, you're right. This is pretty heavy. I feel smarter already. You're supposed to read it. Now let's get back to work if you want to stay on the team. We've got a big game coming up in two weeks. If Moose gets kicked off the team, we're doomed. Ten to one says Moose doesn't pass the test. Test? What test? The history test. What history test? The big history test tomorrow. There's a big history test tomorrow? Huh? huh? I don't believe this. Uh, I think I better go home and study. Well, at least if Jughead got kicked off the team, we'd stand a better chance. The Treaty of Versailles was signed in 1919. Or was it 1918? Or was it 1920? I'm never going to pass that test. What am I going to do? I can't let the team down. I know I shouldn't do this. But what choice do I have? You will have 45 minutes to complete the test. You will raise your pencils when I say start. Hey, where's Moose? He's chickened out. He's not even going to show. He'll be here. Yeah, he wouldn't let the team down. Moose, you're late. Sorry, Miss Grundy. Told you he'd be here. Just in time to flunk the test. Start. Oh.
done. Great. He gave up in record time. The football team is doomed. Just a minute, Moose. Yes, Miss Grundy. Congratulations. You got everyone right. I can't believe he actually passed the test. He didn't just pass it. He aced it. Something's not right about this. Why does everything have to be a weird mystery with you? The important thing is that Moose is still on the team. I guess, but you don't think he cheated, do you? Hey, did it ever occur to you that Moose passed that test because of my personal inspiration and his hard work? No. Oh, huh? Betty, I meant to thank you so much for helping Moose study for the test. It was my pleasure, Midge. Moose is so sweet. You're lucky to have him. Ooh, jealous. Brains and brawn, who wouldn't be? <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Way to go, Moose. I knew you could do it, buddy. Let us buy you a soda. I wish I could, fellas, but I can't stay. Yeah, Moose is taking me to the movies to celebrate. Sorry, Mitch, not tonight. I've got to go home and hit the books. There's a big math test coming up next week. That's okay, Moose. I understand. So long, See ya. Moose. Good luck. By the way, did you know that light travels through all media at the same speed? 186,000 miles or 300,000 kilometers per second, to be exact. Huh? Another A+. Plus. That makes ten in a row. Ah. Now I know there's something wrong. Moose chosen to head academic decathlon team? I think it's great. Yeah, with a brain like Moose on the team, we just might win. Go, Go Moose! Moose! Wait a minute. Last week, Moose couldn't even tie his own shoes, and now he's competing in the academic decathlon. So what's your point? People don't just change like that overnight. Sure they do. Look at me. I used to be considered kind of a geek. Oh, ye of so little faith. You should be proud of what Moose has accomplished with all his studying. Yeah, Arch. You're just being paranoid. Jughead's right. Just last week, you thought you were being followed by crab people from the future. Hey, no one could ever prove otherwise. I'm gonna keep an eye on Moose. Besides, that was last week's mystery. That's weird. Moose never finished reading a book in his life. Hmm. Playing that well takes years of practice. And yet the Moose I know can hardly carry a tune. What's Moose doing in the science lab? <laughs> what? Moose! Moose! Moose, are you all right? Sure, Archie. I'm fine. Moose, come on! Open up! What's the problem, Archie? Anything wrong, Moose? Why, no. What are you doing here so late? I came here to work on my science project. I can hardly wait to see it, Moose. You can see it tomorrow, 
in class. By the way, did you know that Occam's razor is the theory that given a variety of possible explanations, the simplest explanation is the most likely? I didn't know that, Moose. Thanks for telling me. Hey, Moose, wait up. Where were you last night? I waited for over an hour. Oh, I forgot. You want to catch a movie tonight? They're showing The Brain from Planet X downtown. No, Mitch. In fact, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Why? Frankly, you're just not smart enough for me. Huh? I'm not... But... But, Moosey... <laughs> I see our next project is by Betty Cooper. My project is a survey of the most common football injury. The most common injuries are a dislocated shoulder and fractured collarbone, but extreme cases can result in a broken spine. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. Ugh. Excellent. What have we here, Dilton? It's an electroencephalographic device that stimulates the cerebral cortex. Hey, check that out! Wait, I know it's still in the uh, experimental stage, but. Very impressive, Boost. What is it? It's a perpetual motion machine. How does it work? I don't know. I just kind of put it together. Tell me in plain English what this thing does. It improves memory by stimulating brain waves. I call it the thinking cap. Say, Dilton, you didn't let Moose use that, did you? Uh, no. Dilton? All right, all right. He talked me into it, but I only gave him a little dose and made him promise he wouldn't touch oh, it no. again. Well, I caught him sneaking into the lab last night. No wonder he's been acing all his classes. Well, technically the cap can't make him learn anything. At best, he's just memorizing things at an accelerated rate. From what I can tell, he's been taking massive jolts from it. Well, I hope not. Abusing the thinking cap could permanently scramble his brain. Oh, I never should have let him touch it. What are we gonna do? You're gonna have to destroy this thing before Moose gets his paws on it again. Destroy it? But it's taken me years to... No buts. I'm gonna keep an eye on Moose. Sorry, Jug. Watch where you're going, you big ape. What did you call me? I didn't say anything. What's this guy's problem? Hey, huh? Think of something quick. I think Moose has finally flipped his lid. Cool. I can read minds, too. Oh, no. I gotta find Dilton. Have you seen Dilton around? It's important. No, haven't seen him. Hey, Moose, not so fast. I've got a bone to pick with you. How come you didn't show up for practice today? We've got a big game coming up tomorrow. Oh, I don't have time for football anymore, so I quit the team. You what? You can't do that. The team's counting on you. Uh, I wouldn't do this if I were you. I can't believe Moose is such a selfish jerk. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. Whoa! Are you okay, huh? Reggie? <gasps> oh. Yeah! Stay away from me, man! Wow. 
Mind reading, telekinesis. I can't wait to see what's next. destroy that machine like I told you to? Well, I, um... You didn't, did you? Fess up! All right, all right. I hit it. I just couldn't destroy it. Who knows what contributions to science it might make. Moose has got psychic powers. He's out of control. Psychic powers, huh? I gotta get a patent on that thing. No, you've got to fix it so it will reverse the effects on Moose. It's not that simple, you know. You can't just switch a couple wires so it works backwards. Well, then figure out what it's going to take, and I'm going to find Moose. <sighs> Where is it, Dilton? Where's what? The thinking cap, Dilton. Where is it? I, uh, got rid of it. What? Oh, so it's in your locker, huh? Huh? <laughs> Mitch, do you know where Moose is? No, he said he didn't want to see me again. Look, something's happened to Moose. He's not himself anymore. <laughs> and he needs your help. Moose! He found out where the machine is, and he's going after it! We've got to stop him! That's the ticket. Uh-oh. I gotta hand it to you, Dilton. This is the greatest invention since the cuckoo clock. Come on, Moose. Give me the helmet. I'm not going to do anything with it. Yes, you are. I can read your mind. You want to rewire it so it'll take away my powers. Darn. Hey, isn't that Noam Chomsky? No! Come on, you don't need that. Yes, I do. Without it, I don't know anything. But with it, I'm a genius. You're not a genius, Moose. Sure I am. For instance, did you know that according to Hegel, thought is a dialectical process of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis? What's that supposed to mean? I, uh, I don't know. Exactly. It's just something you memorized, and it doesn't mean anything to you. That machine hasn't turned you into a genius, Moose. It's turned you into a, a novelty act. Like one of those guys who can spell things backwards. No! What are you doing, Moose? I can't help it. I'm so confused. Think, Moose, think. Think about what's really important to you. Your friends, your family, football? I can't think. I don't know how. You know more than you think. And I know something, too. I know I want my Moosey back. What? <gasps> Funny, he wasn't so concerned when he trashed us. The machine, quick! Midge, speak to me. Oh, Moosey, I knew you were in there somewhere. Hurry up, before Moose sees us. Let me think, it's very complicated. I'll take that. I don't want to be like this anymore. I'll figure this out somehow. 
You've got the knowledge in your head, Moose. All you have to do is learn from it and apply it. Think, Moose, think. The ticket. Moosey! Wow, what did you do? Well, it was easy. I just had to switch a couple of wires and it worked backwards. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Moosey. It didn't take a genius to know that the thinking cap had to be destroyed. And it sure is nice having the old moose back. Only now, he's taking the time to study for real. And as a result, the grade point average is now a little higher in a little town called Riverdale. 